Holy peach fuzz, people. Holy guacamole. Let's get up. Yunga. Altas. Let's get up. Mention, uh, we are here in Hamburg, Germany. Fabulous. This is the beautiful harbor in this installment of Mode in Berlin. We're in Hamburg. We love the Beatles so much. We grew up on the Beatles. Things really changed for them when they came to Germany and were honing their skills, playing like eight hours a night, popping uppers and drinking beer, just really learning a million songs and getting tight as a group. And we're gonna explore some nice places in the city and all the Beatles. We're just gonna enjoy it all. I got my sexy shirt on, sexy pants for sure. Let's get busy. Don't actually show my pants. district legendary named after of course st pauli mccartney explore this uh, legendary part of town where the beatles were doing their thing several years ago i'd like to think of the beatles walking drunkenly around these streets this is definitely an old party area st pauli love you st pauli and st johnny st georgi and st ringi yeah Coming up on the old Bambi Kino. Psst. So we're here at number 33. The Bambi Kino back in the day. Bambi Cinema. The Beatles lived upstairs in a small storage room right next to the bathrooms. You know, didn't have much, slept on army cots, but I think we're having a pretty good time. They might have even got some booty upstairs a time or two. 1960, just a solid uh, 60 years since then. Happy anniversary. Okay, people, so behind me is the Indra. We're on uh, close fly heights, Salasa. This is the very first club our boys played at when they came to Hamburg in 1960. But we are right around the corner from where they were staying. So we're continuing down close fly heights, Bossa. And this is the Kaiser Keller. So this is where they played after the Indra. They had a much bigger audience. The Indra is literally just right there. It's all right next to each other. Kind of feeling like Beale Street or something. Keep it love, people. Come on now. Now this looks kind of old. It's right across the street from number 36 here. I could see a uh, sort of pilled out, slightly uh, drunken John Lennon staring at this building before headed home. I could see myself doing it too, in a different time. No judgment. Um, yeah, so it turns out it's St. Joseph Kircher. St. Pauli and the, the guys couldn't leave old Joe out. You gotta represent St. Joe as well here. Correct. Now called the Moon Dew. Back then it was called Club Top 10. And this was the last place that they had an engagement when they were in Hamburg before they uh, basically went and took over the world. Cool marquee, I wonder if that's the same. Could be, could not be. There's no way in the world to know. Yes. Are you a 
mod or a rocker? I'm a mock up. Roll out. Roll out for the mystery home. Close fly height. Yahoo, yeah? Now this bar has a fantastic little tail. Stamp can I put that beauty this? So the story of this bar, Gretel and Alphonse, they drank here all the time. It's right across the street, basically exactly from the place that they played the most. Apparently uh, in 1962, whenever they last played here, Paul left his bar tab open and didn't pay and they left town, sort of end of story. Then Paul comes back in like the 80s to pay his bar tab with interest. I like it. Loose strictness on uh, paying your bar tab here, so I'm hoping for a couple free drinks. I'll just tell them uh, I'm on St. Pauli's. You know what I mean? R.I.P. Chester. Damon und Herren. Junge und Mädchen. We're right around from uh, the movie theater, the Bambi Kino. The Beatles were living, I'm trying to get over a little bit of a cold, so I'm flushing it out. The chilled glass of rosé. It's turning autumn here, so it's nice. It's the autumn of rosé as well. Toast. What's the wine toast? Isn't that different? Mm -hmm. English occasion. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go pray about things after this, you know, and just, uh, no, I'm not. We're gonna grab some Vietnamese uh, cuisine here and uh, the menu is looking really good. I have heard your feedback and I will deliver some pictures of the food. Okay, it's actually coming this time. Cheers. So we're not doing full mukbang, but Sharf, which means spicy chicken dish. We got some gyoza. We got a beef dish. They're looking very sexual. And I hope you enjoy seeing food for the first time on one of my vlogs. Dominus. About to head out on the water for a little city lights cruise. Back on the water again. It feels good. I sail. <laughs> Water world over there. And the Louisiana Star is here across the Atlantic, the Humber, Everywhere. Do you know what it means? Things are getting awfully Parisian around here. This is like a Parisian themed restaurant. I'm flushing it out with booze. Pauline, 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 Pauline. We're back. Day two. Hamburg. Just had a little cafe. About to take a walk up to the home of uh, Astrid Kirchner, where the Biafels would uh, stay and get fed. It's our last day here. Just gonna do a couple more beetle sites and make the most of it. Yeah. Well, this is the Hotel Pacific, place that the Beatles stayed while they were working on Glossa Freiheitstrasse. I have no idea which room they were in. Could have been in the front facing part of it. So it might as well have been this one behind me. So there it is, the exact location. It's the walk from, uh, say, the Hotel Pacific to Astrid's place. Going to Astrid's. Okay, this is it. The old building where Astrid and her family lived.
Oh yeah, and Astrid just passed away like last year, I think, so rest in peace. Yeah. Okay, so this building, aside from looking haunted as shit and grungy AF, it was called the Hotel Germania. It was the place they stayed at last time they were working here. And now it's the St. Pauli Lodge. This is how I look in front of it. Okay. Polizei headquarters. So the story of this place is Beatles were up the street when they were staying above the Bambi Kino. They were celebrating because they had just quit at the second club they had been working at and they were moving over to the Reaper Bond, the High Street Top 10 Club. I guess George and Pete Best found a condom, put it on the wall and lit it on fire. Then they were walking around outside for a second and next thing you know, everyone's getting arrested. They got hauled into this police station and then I think they were promptly escorted out of Germany. One place I don't want to end up either. As I light my condoms on fire, I just release them in a park or whatever. Doing weird things in movie theaters is like generally not cool. Just stay away from movie theaters if you're gonna cause trouble. All couples with their own signature locks. One of the many canela. Bringing it in for one last meal here. This place called El Ibirico. Some tapas, maybe a little vine. Should be lovely. Hamburg, you're a sweet little hamlet. Uh, speaking of hamlet, I may have some jamón. We'll see what happens. Truly rock and rolled. Hamburg, you've been a revelation. The people were lovely. The Beatles were heavenly, as always. Until next time, Hamburg. Juicy. I'm flushing it out with my